everybody. Uh, we've just come out of the Royal Courts of Justice. Oh, this space where the sun is. Uh, we're at the outside the court and uh, they've just sent Edward Ellis to prison. They've just sent Edward Ellis to prison, Lord Justice Coulson and Lord Justice Lewiston, for helping people with their corruption cases free of charge for the last 20 years for their own satisfaction of their criminal cover-up in the civil courts where they are money laundering, human trafficking and fraudulently trading cases in predeterminations where they've already made their mind up what's going to happen. Um, Shane, what do you want to say? Yeah, they've sensed him knowing that he's on dialysis and he will die. He's going to die in a that few days. He's disclosed in the court knowing that he's on dialysis. What's his crime? For helping people. But there's no hope, no, no hope and no help. That's his crime. And knowing he's going to die because he's on dialysis. Next two or three days he'll be dead. Did you notice the amount of people that were gathering around him? They knew what was going to happen the scripted. whole day. The, the judges today is just, they are a murderer. That's it. That's all. That's all. They're not judges. No. They are a murderer. They're cre treasonous criminals. I've told them they're treasonous criminals. They have no regard for criminal jurisdiction in this civil court. This is a civil court. They do not have the jurisdiction to sit in criminal matters, the criminal cover-up. Of, of all the corruption that we've suffered. We're all corruption victims. And, and once again, once again, I stress the word justice is just a word. Now, I'm not saying for one second there's not good judges out there. There is good judges. I'm not for one second saying there are good police officers. There are good police officers. However, the word justice today is just a word. There was no clemency which is a wave of grace in the law. It was, it was just brutal to watch and very, at best, sad. Well, I can gladly say there is a judge of all judges and he resides over the whole of mankind and they will be judged and they are weighed in the balances and found wanting, as Daniel says in the Bible. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, Kwasi was here, Sean was here, um, Kansai is here. What do you want to say about it? You horrified as well. well. I mean, they have to decide it whether this country is a state of law or running by gangster. You know, there's someone like Edward Ellis helping people, putting all this effort. He's a sick man, and they cannot prove that, and they are calling, causing, calling him a liar, and they are calling him a liar, and now they're putting him in prison. That is a murder, absolutely. God. Yeah. And they came. And they Did came. you see that, that timing? And, and that was not that was not scripted. That no. was not <laughs> scripted. We promise it wasn't scripted. God is watching this building. This building is gonna get demolished over this. I said to the judges, demolish this building. I said to the judges, you are assassins, you, you are treasonous criminals. Yes. And, and you should be taken to the park and be edited. I said you should be going with those jailkeepers, not Edward. I said. So Edward has been jailed for about 12 months. They tried to increase it to 15 months, which means he'll serve six months. But you know, he's a kidney dialysis patient, which they, they said we don't believe in because he hasn't shown us the paperwork. Why would anyone lie about being a kidney dialysis patient? And uh, they, his, his they've made record. no arrangements for his kidney dialysis, which means I said you've sentenced him to death. The media came in at the end. We knew it was a setup. It was a complete setup. 
by these two Lord Justice, and, and it, Paul Cern and Lord was, Justice. It was, it was also proven that it was scripted because the judges retired to their chambers for two minutes <laughs> and gave a rendering for at least 35, 40 exactly. minutes. You cannot, I, I stress, you cannot exactly. in two minutes, in two minutes, give a rendering and documentation and paperwork and read it all out and give at least an explanation of 40 minutes. That's impossible. Where well, my world is impossible. They were, they're already written down, ready for waiting. Correct. Yeah. Uh, how 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 they can get ready for preparing all this to be in order to deliver it judgment today? It's just like you you pointed out. It's absolutely you're right. You know, in two minutes, how come 45 minutes? Well, I, I, I I I like I like to you know as as a couple of police I know know very well. They say it has to be empirically proven. That was empirically proven there. It's impossible to give a rendering. Uh, you retire in your chambers for two minutes, then come out and expand and expel 40 minutes of, of speech. That's impossible. In my world, it's impossible. Maybe in their world, it's not. But in my world and anybody else's world, it's impossible. It was already scripted. It was a foregone conclusion what they was going to do. Yeah, it was predetermination. There is no, there, listen, there is no justice. The justice system needs to be completely... Uh, rehearsed and, and reset simple simple and we need righteous judges real judges men of integrity nobility and uh, not and, uh, and what we did greatly what uh, Shane uh, did greatly he did bring he brought well, the show paperwork it. Show it. we've given them the transcript of there 2020 is. EWCA there it is we've given the statement of Prime Commissioner yeah and again Anthony, Anthony Stansfield, Stansfield well done well and done. the FCA report and we've given them treason notice and we've given them assassination titles, assassin titles to these judges, uh, Lord Justice Coulson and Lord Justice Lewison. Sorry, sorry. Look, people, yeah. I, I yeah. just said about good police officers. Yes, look, look, note that name. Note that name. That's a good police officer. That's one that's cred credible and worthy of accolade and praise. That's a wonderful man. Thank you, Anthony, for that. Thank you for your work. It has been duly noted and we, we do respect that and, and thank you for it. Thank you. Let me let me spin this around and get the paperwork properly. So thank you. Yeah, just show us the other documents that we got there. So we've got that one. Yep. That's a four page document. And then the FCA one. And we also give them the transcript of those proceedings. There you go. They got the transcript of e EWCA CRIM 369 2020. Can you just, can you just ex explain what FCA <laughs> yeah. means? So this is that the banks were caught fraudulently trading. The bank was owned by the UK government. Edward Ellis has been falsely prosecuted by the Solicitor General of the UK government. They're supposed to be advisors to the government. They're not supposed to lock up whistleblowers which proves that this is terrorism. And Edward said he's going to use anti-terrorism laws. These are under, these did not work. The FCA, 50 years jail and 45 million pound fine did not work because um, four years after this, so that's five, seven years after this, 2017 they were jailed. They're still carrying on with fraudulently trading, criminally covering up, using the civil courts in uh, criminal cover-ups. You can't do that. Criminal cover-ups in the civil court when there's been criminal prosecutions. There you go. So it's proven. Right. And anybody out there, anybody out there that's in the frame, in other words, in the judiciary, you, we welcome you. We welcome you. We really welcome you. We need you to apply to be <coughs> judges because this lot in here are assassins. They're, they're squatting in public buildings. They're, these, they're called... Um, Civil, civil, what, public servants, but they are assassins, they're killing our whistleblowers. Our whistleblowers is all we've got. We don't have anybody else, right? And by the way, this is not conspiratorial loon stuff for anybody out there watching this. This is, I repeat, not conspiratorial loon stuff. Yes, we are at the Royal Courts of Justice. We're outside. We've just witnessed their murder, Edward Ellis, knowing he's on kidney dialysis, and they point blank refused him any medical aid or help. Okay, that's really happened. Today's date is the 3rd of that, May. Of May. That really happened today. What's it now? Approximately 4 o'clock? Yeah. We've been in there since half past ten this morning. It yeah. really happened. Yeah. Edward Ellis 
is going to die very soon because he's been put in prison without making any arrangements for his dialysis. And these judges, Lord Justice Coulson and Lord Justice Lewison, have got blood on their hands. I've told them, you've got blood on your hands. Yeah? What else have. can we do? And, 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 and there's, there's a text in, in Genesis says that the blood speaks and cries forth. It says that when Cain slew Abel. The blood, the blood spoke and cried forth because of the blood of righteous Abel. The, the, the blood of righteous Edward Ellis, unfortunately, is going to die, and the blood will speak. Thank you. He said he wanted to, uh, permission to appeal to the Supreme Court. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he stated that, and that was denied. And then he said, you have to wait till my eight weeks is run out because he had eight weeks to appeal. And they said, no, they can't take that away from him. They took that away because they'd already decided that they were going to kill him today. This is a Royal Courts of Justice. How many people have they killed in there? They tried to kill Sabine McNeil in there, didn't they? On the Holly Gregg case, they did, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so many other people have been murdered because they've fought against the system. There's been Patrick Cullinane uh, and uh, what's his name? Come to me in a minute. Yeah, Anthony Fernandez. You know what? Me and Penny Pullum, outside the Royal Courts of Justice, we chalked on the floor. Evil flourishes when good men and do good women do nothing to fight it. Well, we, we will keep trying to fight it because we cannot allow or let evil flourish. Full stop. Period. Yeah, I just want to say about the Hare Krishna, Hare Rama lot. Like, why, you know, okay, they have an offshoot of Hinduism, but. Um, it's not really the original Vedas and Upanishads. Um, uh, here we are. Sean, what do you want to say about what's happened? Come here. What, what happened? So, what, what happened after we left? Sorry? Well, Hang Chris, on. you are saying he's taken into which, which, which station? Penneville. Penneville. Yeah, Penneville yeah, Patrick, prison. You said, you said, what should I say to you? Well, he was doing all the volunteer effort. Many no, cases. I don't know how they how they going to manage their sleeping, all kind of thing. Well, they'll sleep well because okay. there's no integrity in them. There's no ability. There's no conviction. All right. All right. Yeah, of course not. They'll sleep all well. Right. As I said, text me news. But then he was saying something. He will do the Supreme Court. How will he do? Well, that was denied. Oh, was it? All right. No, they killed him. They're he's going to die oh, within he a few will days. Die now. They said he's lying about his dialysis. He's not a dialysis patient because he hasn't provided any proof. So they don't feel that they that have any ridiculous. obligation to provide dialysis. We are robbed. Don't they They're going to kill him within, within a week. He's going to die. They said we don't believe he's a kidney dialysis patient because he, he didn't provide us. If we go to the side, left and right, you'll see the policemen are waiting for him. Should we do that? Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, did you? The Let's go. Is, the yeah. They're going to put him in the in the police vans now. So the we. Police van. It's a jailer's van. I've seen it. Yeah. I saw it this morning. Yeah, they've been there all morning. Yeah. Yes. So Edward Ellis has been jailed. Royal Courts of Justice. They said you're not a kidney dialysis patient, so we don't have to make any arrangements for your kidney dialysis means he's going to die within a few days because they said he didn't have any paperwork to prove, prove. they said he's a liar about his kidney dialysis well they said they said he was a liar but in the previous court case yeah, he, he's, in the previous court yeah he's in there well they wouldn't have put any yeah but he will probably be taken in there in a minute yeah so yeah, Oh, can, I, can I? Yeah, go on. Oh, you go back rise. Right. No, I can't. You go back rise. Right. No, 72 play, I think. I don't know, I can't read it. We can't go. Pentaville Prison, Edward is going to. Pentaville Prison. This court will get demolished over it. Edward Ellis has gone to prison. He was on trial for helping people. Look up his website, equitygovernance.uk, and my website for him he is um, 
They won't even allow him to help people in prison. ICJ3.webs.com. Let me see if I can type it in. Sorry. Gosh, I don't know how to type my message. Edward Ellis is on. I can't. What a sad day. What a sad day. Well, sad day. Is, I'll say it's unfavorable. I won't, call, I won't give him the satisfaction to call it sad. They, they're criminals. Yeah. They're going to gonna kill all of us. We're all going to die early. No, no, no. Don't say that. No, no, no. That's what we they just, do. We just go work they, together. No, they, judges, the way they've done it, they don't care. But they yeah. just don't care. They only care about the chair. They only care about the chair. They tried to kill Sean recently. He's been homeless. How long? How many months? I've been homeless for five months. And I've been homeless for six months. Yeah. I've been they owner tried of to kill three, me. I've been owner of three properties. Made me homeless. They've yeah. stolen all his wealth, millions of pounds. They do that to everybody, right? I hope. Of course. How many times have they made life. you homeless? Come on. I'm living here. You they can't remember. It's too cut, lost count, right? Yes. Lost count. There you go. I use care of care of yeah, address. Well, my son's say, rented house. Whatever care of same as you. His bank. You did four care of four fifty. Well, when this was swift because it was uh, criteria himself. Yeah, but he's got his beliefs, and as you saw, you can't change it. So. Well, are we going down to the I don't know, we've got to hang about till he goes in there, isn't he? He's going to leave in the van. We should wait. Stay strong. Yeah, um, Shane, whoever it is, I'll pass on to you that I'll find out. I'll phone you later. All right, thanks a lot. Well done for coming. You're my angel and now you're Edward's angel. Seriously, thank you. No, thank you so much. Thank you. If you need an angel. Oh, Shane, did they arrest you last time you was with Nilo at the house? No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. We jump in later. I'm afraid we just we just go work together and stay strong. You know, this this is all like to to discourage us. Yeah. But uh, we're not really watching. Thank you. God bless you, Shane. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, we're just waiting for Edward to go in the prison van over there. That prison van's been there all day. Um, the, there was two court enforcement officers watching, sitting. There was three journalists. You come with us. You're going chance relay. Yeah, I'm coming with you. Yeah, But I think we should wait. Look, 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 look. They're there. They're there. Watch. I don't know. If it's, no. Shit. Funny enough, he used to work at Stratford, so now he's here. Let's go. The guy, yeah, he used to work at Stratford. You can't read the number plate, can you? That... Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. Go, go on, tell me, tell yeah. me. BX20. BX20. Yep. Yeah, um, Delta Zulu Oscar. Delta Zulu Oscar, thank you. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's Edward's van, Serco. Serco? Yes, Serco. He's always circled around the Oh, yeah, Serco. Yeah. Yes. So, what are they doing to him? Take it, searching him, are they? Have you got everything off Edward, have you? He didn't give me anything. Has he got his wallet and money? Probably with him. When he comes out and his phone? No, he's just got his phone. He might have his phone card. So Edward Ellis has been jailed for 12 months for trying to help people, which will really serve six months, for helping people with their cases, the corruption cases. Uh, the Royal Courts of Justice, this this book, sorry, it's been kidnapped by this building. Uh, they're money laundering, fraudulently trading, assassins. But it, really, it's a private club for private parties of assassins. It comes to life in the evenings. So you'll see next door to it. is uh, McMullen Brewing and Pubs Old Bank of England. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? 1827, Bell Yard. And then we're now looking at the back of the Law Society. So here you have the Royal Courts of 
justice, which is the assassination chambers for whistleblowers. And uh, next door here, well, is the Law Society. And uh, this brewing company, okay, fine. Uh, okay, so this is the back of uh, the Law Society building, whatever. They've sold off bits of it. And uh, they have the Royal Cuts of in uh, Assassins. Uh, so Edward Ellis has been jailed in the Royal Courts of Justice for helping people with their corruption cases. And uh, uh, Lord Justice Coulson, Lord Justice Lewison, Mrs Justice May, and Katz, and... Uh, oh. Kerr, Mr. Justice Kerr, they kept calling him Carr, and uh, so they said they're not going to make arrangements for his kidney dialysis because he didn't prove any paperwork for it, so he's going to die without it. So there, I'm not making this up. A telephone, you will get through my telephone. It's the Law Society offices right next door to the Royal Courts of Justice. And this is where they recruit the students from all over the world, the beautiful women, handsome men. They'll come here and they're trained in a seduction of judiciary, seduction of justice. Hold it, hold it. Hey, do you want to have a cup of tea or anything? Yeah, there's a way to... Chancery Lane. Oh no, Chancery Lane is closed. Chancery Lane is closed today. No, it train didn't stop. The train didn't stop there. Yeah, they said it will be open later. Let's go Is to it? the sun. Okay. Yeah. Shall I stop my thingy now? Uh, so Edward came to the uh, civil appeals. Oh, God. So, uh, I'm shaken. Oh, what are we shaken or what? What happened today? I'm, I'm shaken. I you being shaken. I know you are strong. Okay, I'm going to hang up now, guys. That's about it, really. We're defeated by criminals and assassins in the Royal Courts of Justice, pretending to be criminal jurisdiction, criminal cover-up, and they have just murdered Edward Ellis by giving him a jail sentence without arranging for his kidney dialysis. They said he's got no proof of dialysis, no documentary proof, so he's a liar and they don't need to arrange for his kidney dialysis. So there's King's College, okay? So there's the Law Society, uh, further down, further down, sorry, there, and there's the King's College. So the Trinity, the Father, well, they, they call the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, but it should be Vishnu Mahesh, which is the creator, the sustainer, and the destroyer. Yeah, so this is where they, how they keep up the fraudulent trading uh, networks in the civil courts when there's no criminal justice system in the UK. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So we have, we can't, the public there were seven of us in the public gallery. It was a predetermination. There was about... Two men in the journalist section, two law justices, and these two court enforcement officers sat at the back. Two security officers sat outside the court. And... Uh, then these three other guys came in as journalists. So I don't know how much that totals. There's two ushers. 
nobody called the case, I don't think. It's when they have to go outside and call people in to come in. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye. It's Sunday.